Um, so yesterday we had our first read aloud, your first story time with Kai, and a lot of people who wanted to come couldn't. So we thought that we would do an in case you missed it reading of Too Many Toys by David Shannon. Right, Kai? Yeah. So everybody really loved this book and it's one of our favorites as well. So here we go. Too Many Toys by David Shannon. Spencer had too many toys. They covered the floor of his bedroom and piled up in his closet. They were stashed under his bed and they spilled downstairs and into the living room. I think he has an itch. <laughs> you good? Okay. He had big toys in the backyard and little toys in the bathtub. Sometimes Spencer played with nice, quiet wooden pull toys. Other times he played with noisy, crazy electronic toys. He had puzzles, board games, and talking books that fueled his mind, and loud, jumpy, frenzied video games that fried it. Which kind of toy do you like to play with better? Spencer liked to make his toys into a parade that stretched from one corner of the, house, of the house to the other and back again. There was an entire zoo of stuffed animals and a gigantic army of little action figures. Do any of you have that many toys? Because that's madness. That's crazy. Look at all of them. He had a fleet of planes, trains, and toy boats, and a convoy of miniature trucks and cars. He also had lots and lots of musical instruments, art supplies, and alien spaceman weapons. Oh, sorry, God. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Can I take a picture? Everyone gave toys to Spencer. Of course his mom and dad did, but so did Grandma Bobo and Poppy and Granddaddy and Auntie Mim and Uncle Fred and Cousin Drew. They gave him toys for every holiday, even the 4th of July and his birthday. He also got toys from all his friends on his birthday and on their birthdays too when he went to their parties. He got toys at the drive-thru with his kid burger and at school for having lots of peace person points and at the dentist and the doctor when he didn't squirm. Do you get toys when you see all these people? And do you keep them? That's a lot of toys. They were becoming a household hazard have you ever stepped on a Lego piece in your bare feet or a jack? Well, it really hurts, especially if you weigh as much as Spencer's dad. You can also trip on things like railroad tracks and race cars if you're carrying a load of laundry. That looks like it hurts, huh? <gasps> One day, Spencer's mom had had it up to here with all the toys. Spencer, she yelled on her way upstairs. You have too many toys. That's impossible, thought Spencer. Then she said, we're going to get rid of some of them. Hmm. That's a catastrophe. Pick out which toys you don't want, she ordered, and put them in this box. But I love them all, Spencer said. Oh, sorry, Kai, did I not show you the pictures? Kai likes to be shown the pictures. All right, his mother said, I'll help you. She picked up this alien space ninja. How about this one? You haven't played with it in years. But I was just about to. Spencer, his mother said, it doesn't have a head. I'm making him a new one, Spencer replied. 
fine, said Spencer's mother, but this can definitely go. She put down the alien and picked up a filthy one-eared bunny. Not Mr. Fluffers. Mom, Mom, how could you? This one then, she said. That's Mr. Fluffer's best friend. This one? Mother, have you forgotten? Grandma Bobo gave me that on my fourth birthday and I'll never be four again, ever. Oh, please, Spencer, said his mom, rolling her eyes. Don't be so dramatic. Is it that hard for you to give away toys? Kai never gives away toys. It's too hard for him, yeah. Yeah, exactly, that's what I said. Okay, she said, you can keep that one, but I'm giving away this pig and the Johnny Choo Choo. Tell you what, countered Spencer, I'll let you have the pig, but I get Johnny Choo Choo. What are you, a lawyer now? She asked Spencer's mother. You can keep that Johnny Choo Choo, but the cow goes in the box too. Deal? How about two Gitchy Goomies instead, said Spencer and I'll throw in a little pe peeper of your choice. How about all of them go into the box or you don't watch TV for a week? Spencer decided it was in his best interest to agree. Deal. Finally, some toys in the box, sighed Spencer's mom. I had no idea this would, this would be so much work. He really doesn't want to give toys away. How do you get rid of toys? She plopped down on the floor next to an egg-shaped pirate that bellowed, Ar, avast ye scurvy dog, avas ar scurvy og, dervy og, dervy og. Here's another one you can do without, she said. No problem, Spen said Spencer. His mom nearly fell over. What? You're going to give it away just like that? Sure, Spencer replied. That's dad's. <laughs> I think she was a little surprised that it was that easy, huh? So Spencer and his mom went through every toy box and looked in every closet and under every bed until they had haggled and wrestled and argued over every toy in the entire house. Finally, they were finished and his mom had a hot cup of tea and a short rest. That's a good amount of toys to give away. What do you think Spencer's going to do without all of those extra toys? <gasps> then she went upstairs to begin loading the toys into the car. But instead of a nice neat box of toys all ready to go, she saw a big messy pile of toys all over the floor. Spencer, she screamed, what have you done? We had a deal. You were right, Mom, Spencer called from his bedroom. Now, what do you think happened? Why is there all those toys? Those are all the toys he's going to give away. Why are they all on the floor? You were right, Mom, Spencer called from his bedroom. I do have too many toys, but we can't give away this box. Why do you think he changed his mind? It's the best toy ever. He just wanted to play with the box. <laughs> the end. That was Too Many Toys by David Shannon. So, if you join, if you like that, join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. You can join us through the link in our website, which is in the description of this video. And you can join us then. And we're going to be reading Teacher's Pets on Tuesday of this week. I hope to see you then. Bye. Kai's gotta say bye. Thank you.